Hello, Davina here from Useful Graphic Design Tutorials. Recently, a friend of ours contacted us asking for some help. She'd created a web header, but when she added it to her website, it didn't fit. She checked the dimensions and they were right, but it still didn't fit. So she came to us to see if we could help. After a lot of head scratching, we eventually found out what had caused the problem. And we're going to show you what happened. I'm going to go to File and I'm going to go to Properties and I'm going to add 977 by 180 and this will be the size of the web header. Just give it a bit more zoom to see what we're doing. And I am going to add a rectangle and I'm going to give it a blue colour and put that in there. If I select it you'll see the size is nine, roughly what I put in, slightly bigger, it doesn't matter. I'm going to add some text make it white and make it bigger and it was adding this white that caused the problem because Inkscape defaults to the last colour that you fill an object with and of course in this case it was white. So when our friend came to add another shape, let's do another rectangle there, yes it's white you can see here and if you select it and move it that it is a shape but of course you can't see anything there and when you deselect it's gone. Try another one. Deselect, it's gone. Uh, try another shape. It's there, yes. And so she continued adding to her header and then of course it came for time to save it. And what she may well have done is gone up to here to select all because she wanted to add the text to the blue background. And let's take that down a bit. And when we did this, this is what alerted us to the fact that hmm, we've got more than just this header here. And of course, if you click on select, you can see they're all selected. If you don't remove them and when you come to save, this is the fail safe if you like. If you go down to export bitmap, what should be in here is the dimensions of this, which was 977 by 180. But of course now it's increased to 1783 to 870 because you've added these in. So that is, be very aware when you're saving to check that your bitmap size is the same size as the object you want to save. So we're not going to export it there. But how do you get rid of this? Well a very quick and easy way is to deselect, click on rectangle there and then using the tab key go through until you come to the one that you want to get rid of and press delete. Do the same again, click on there, tab and just go through and you can tell if it keeps doing like that you know you've got everything and then you can go to file export and it's back to your original. I hope that's been of help it's something which hopefully it doesn't happen to you but as I say, if you're going to use white fill, it could well do. So I hope this has helped to explain why you have objects there that you didn't think you'd got. If you have any comments, suggestions or questions, come over to our fan page because it's always useful for other people to see what's being talked about. And you will find the address on the slide after the tutorial. Well, hope to see you in another tutorial. And for now... I shall say bye-bye. Bye-bye.